right now, I want you to bring us back to our youth, Brian. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I'm pretty. Did you ever do the Lego Mindstorm thing? No, no. Lego okay. was just bricks when I was a kid. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Um. So, uh, I I love Legos, and I'm actually got like three kits halfway done right now. Uh, one of them I've been working on for a long time. I, I should finish those. Anyway, because there's a new one I want to buy. Uh, it's not out yet, but the uh, Lego Lego announced uh, Mindstorm Robot Inventor. And uh, so they've had different Mindstorm kits in the past for robotics, and they started in 2006, or at least on the Mindstorm series. There's a, a NXT was in 2006. They did an NXT 2.0 in 2009. And then the EV3 was in 2013, and I was actually kind of disappointed with the EV3 because uh, it was weird. It was like post-apocalyptic thing going on. It was like punk rock robots or something. I don't know. That's weird. Um, anyway, so I didn't. We um, I think we've got an NXT somewhere in the house, uh, but the the new Mindstorm robot inventor, they finally figured out that uh, people are using these things to try to teach in STEM education and stuff. And so the new one, this is awesome. Drum roll. It supports uh, Scratch and Python. So um, that is super awesome. There's, um, it has instructions for uh, five different robots that do lots of different kind of cool things like a car-like robot and an upright-like robot. And, and there's a bunch of sensors. Um, the module that it has connects to six different in input-output ports for sensors and motors. There's even a six axis six axis gyro and accelerometer, a five by five LED matrix. Five by five is not much, but we could probably figure out. We can hack more. Uh, color sensor and distance sensor, of course, and Python. Um, so one of the other neat things about it is um, the other one. I'm not sure about the, the the older ones, but they they were programmable, of course, with Windows or Mac. But um, but this one also has uh, is going to have the ability to program it via an Android or iOS uh, tablet or smartphone, and even some Fire OS. So like the uh, Amazon Kindles, um, some of them might be able to be used, which is pretty awesome because even though this robot inventor is pretty expensive, uh, if, if a school's helping to support it or something, and a kid has a, you know, a $50 tablet at home, hopefully that'll work. So that's neat. Yeah, this is really cool. And I think being able to program with a real programming language instead of a blocky type of programming language. Yeah. Goes a long ways. You know, I, I think people underestimate how much kids can do with some simple text versus, you know, like, well, it's gotta be drag and droppy. So don't ever make syntax errors. And, you know, if you look at things like codecombat.com, kids go through these dungeons and they solve like challenges to open the door, make it across the bridge or whatever with, code but it's all typing python but the editor is so insanely aggressive in a good way aggressive yeah. with uh autocomplete like if you type a it'll try to autocomplete hero dot attack and suggest arguments i mean it's like ridiculous and in those sorts of scenarios i feel like you know don't pull the punches like give the kids a real experience they'll adapt pretty quickly i think i think people underestimate with the right tooling what kids can do with a text language like Python. Yeah. And I, so I really hope I, I think so too. And so I'm, it's exciting to have it. I know you can't, there were ways to put, put control the EV three with Python, but it was extra hacky ways and not obvious for people. And so hopefully having this supported, and I really hope that we get more of these sorts of robot inventor things coming out from Lego. Not every seven years. Could we update maybe every couple of years? Um, that'd be awesome. So, yeah, for sure. Um, Technology uh, changes fast. Yeah, and um, on a related note, I, I didn't do this as a full story, but I wanted to note, I also saw a, a project called Microscopy, um, or Microscopy, maybe. Um, it's an IBM open source project to build your own modular microscope using uh, uh, ra Raspberry Pis and Lego bricks and, and a little bit of 3D printing. And you can control a um, a battery or like a motorized microscope, which is pretty awesome. So that's neat too. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool.